Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. <clears throat> if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video and come to my channel. Please make sure you subscribe. And if you are returning, I appreciate your support so much. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus um, for January and February 2021. We're going to be taking a look at uh, what's been going on this month and what's coming in for February. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages in regards to Gemini's current life path and life situation. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, understanding, and healing, as well as a higher perspective and knowledge on what soul lessons and soul cycles Gemini may currently be going through, about to go through, need to learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, <clears throat> let's get your um, oracle messages here, Gemini. Holy Spirit, what is the overall message of spiritual guidance? For Gemini at this time, what is the overall message of spiritual guidance? <clears throat> All right, and we'll get you two more cards here. Overall mess. Okay. Wow. Leave a stressful situation behind. I'm going to take the one on top, Gemini. That's what flew out. So you're dealing with a situation that has caused you a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. I feel that you've been thinking about it a lot. It's time to just let it go. It's no longer um, serving a, a purpose for you, okay? And it's time for you to walk away and release yourself from that situation. You don't have to bring it with you. Where you're going, it does not serve a purpose. All right, and then leg up and alternative medicine. Okay, <clears throat> first cards you have Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and of good courage for the Lord your God. He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. This is what I was talking about, leaving that stressful situation. You don't need to worry about anything else. God is the only one who goes with you wherever you go. Go ahead and release that situation. On the back, you have Galatians 6, 9. Let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing. Romans 12, 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. To pray is to mount on eagle's wings above the clouds and get into the clear heaven where God dwells. Okay, and then you also have here alternative medicine. Um, the prayer says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to the ideal healing treatment <clears throat> and for giving me clear signs and messages to validate the best path for my well-being. Okay, um, and then a leg up. So you may be needing a, a help with something or a boost on getting started okay you may be needing extra support or or validation you may already have um a leg up in a race okay and what i mean by race is not an actual physical race but i'm seeing somebody that's trying to get to a particular goal or ambition or you're trying to get somewhere where you're leaving the past behind, Gemini. You've already got a leg up, but you're unable to recognize and see that right now, Gemini, because of what you've been going through. You are holding on to <clears throat> pains from the past, from particular situations. I know that in difficult situations, 
it can be hard to release something because we don't want to forget, right? We need to know this person may have done us wrong or, or whatever it is for you. But it is important that you let go of any negative feelings you have regarding where you are in your life, Gemini, because all it does is hold you back, okay? You have to accept that things happen to us for our growth, to learn our strength. And if we choose to live with God and by God, we will always come from a place of love, okay? That was the moon, Pisces energy. So there's a lot of deep reflecting going on right now for you, Gemini. A lot of deep emotions are coming to the surface. Maybe some feelings and some thoughts that, that you were unaware of. But this is an opportunity for you to release those and to accept something for what it was and continue to move forward in a loving way. All right, so let's see what's going on here with Gemini. Aries energy trying to uh, come out as well. So you may really be trying to think outside of the box. Maybe you're tired of doing something the same way over and over. Let's take a look. There's Pisces again. Interesting. All right. Ending with Taurus energy here. So <clears throat> real quick, show me what's going on in the recent past. Current energy here for you, Gemini, is the magician. Um, you're in this state of knowing that you create your reality, that everything is within you, okay, to create your reality. Um, and to give yourself what it is you need. You can manifest it. You can bring it to fruition. You hold the power. And I feel that right now you're in this energy of really culminating and bringing everything together so that you can proceed in a direction that benefits you. Okay? This isn't just a one aspect in your life. I'm seeing this as overall, your money, your home, your love, your emotions. Where are you putting your energy, okay? This situation that we're looking into, this is a past situation that may have um, been very hard for you to ground, okay? Everything was kind of up in the air. It was almost fantasy-like, a lot of illusion, a lot of daydreaming and fantasy, you were, it's like you were dealing with somebody or something like a love of all things. There was a lot of things going on, but it was never, <clears throat> it was never fully centered. Does that make sense? And there's been a lot of deep reflection because I think that you can go back to this situation if you want to. Okay. But currently there is a distance between the two of you. There's been a separation. Okay. Your current energy is the Knight of wands. You're very spontaneous right now, Gemini. You're very, very passionate, okay? But you're needing to hone in on that passion and that focus um, and, and dial it into one thing because I'm seeing lots going on around you. And you're, you're wanting to rush towards a particular situation. Tell me about this Knight of Wands for Gemini's current energy. You want to take action on something very quickly, Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Yeah. It's like you want to express something to somebody. You, you're, you're in your power right now, Gemini. You're very much in your power. Here we are with the Queen of Swords. You know exactly what you want. You know what you're looking for. Um, you're ready to express yourself in a way that is much different than previously. I'm seeing that for some of you, you could be dealing with the Leo. We have Pisces and Taurus on the table as well. But there is, um, you've kind of been able to separate yourself from your emotions, okay? Um, which is good and bad because what Spirit is showing me is that for some of you in this collective, you may have closed off too tightly. So you're really unable right now to tap into that compassion, empathy, and understanding, 
which is important when healing and going on our journey, okay? Um, but you have learned how to control the beast. So congratulations to you um, on that leveling up there, Gemini. You've learned how to control your emotions. You've learned the things about yourself that set you off. And you now are ready to move forward with a very focused view and, and, and get things done is what I'm hearing. It's time to get things done. The other person's energy is the Knight of Swords. They're racing towards you. They have something that they want to say or communicate. But this is anxiety filled. I want to tell you that. This person is, there's like a worry, a fear here that they're losing you. Tell me about this Knight of Swords, please. They do, it's like they've had an aha moment. Yeah, they're rushing in to apologize, give you some new information. This is about a situation that you felt you were lied to or, or they may have been hiding something, okay? Um, this is an energy of ghosting, manipulation, not really telling the full truth, okay? Um, they realize that in order to come back towards you, they have to address this situation, okay? And they're getting very anxious about it. They're wanting to come forward. They're wanting to take this leap of faith with you. They're wanting to offer you a token of their appreciation, but also forgiveness. They want to ask for forgiveness. The challenge between the two of you is the moon. Hidden emotions, hidden agendas, what's real, what isn't. Somebody was very um, elusive in this connection or in this situation. It was very, very hard to get to the root of anything. Tell me about the moon, please. Tell me about the moon as Gemini's challenge. Yeah, somebody's emotions, they were very closed off, very blocked off, and it was very hard. Here's the King of Swords. So you could be dealing with another uh, Gemini or Aquarius Libra. But it was very, very hard to get any sort of emotional response. The two of you cannot, are, are struggling with being deep with one another. Somebody was not even accepting their own emotions or their own reactions in this situation they were very very closed off very blind to what was going on and in and in being blind it caused it caused an energy of feeling as though somebody was disloyal not faithful um heartbreak and then i'm seeing that separation come in okay this person's next steps of action towards you though gemini is the ten of cups with the outcome being the hierophant so I'm seeing this person come forward and let you know that I see happiness with you, okay? They feel as though you are the one that, that brings them that, that happiness. This is a family life. This is somebody that wants to repair what has been broken. And I'm seeing a commitment take place. And a lot of truth is going to be revealed. Now remember the Hierophant, this is a high priest. But the Hierophant is someone who has seeing the other side, right? Who, who, who knows that there is something more than this physical world, okay? Um, the veil has been lifted. So there's a lot of deep truths coming out in, in this connection, Gemini. Tell me about this 10 of cups for the person's next steps of action. The star, Aquarius. So yeah, you could be dealing with Aquarius. I said that earlier. I also have Scorpio on the bottom. They're wanting to... Again, they see you as their end-all, be-all. There is a deep transformation and healing that has taken place here. They're, they're closing out a cycle that was very, very long and very painful. <clears throat> and they're wanting to come back in and rebuild this connection with you. It is taking time. But I want you to remember, again, because you have this uh, Romans 12, 12, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction. Whenever we are going through something that is, you know, causing some sort of pain or, or heartache here, yeah, you definitely have messages coming in. Know that there's a reason. Know that there's something that you can learn here, Gemini. 
Um, it's not always the other person's fault and it's not always just your fault. There is an in-between that as humans, we often forget to look at, okay? And that is the, the truth. And I'm not talking about the truth of what that situation was. I'm talking about the spiritual truth about why we go through things here. And if you're not on that level and you're kind of missing what I'm saying, don't worry, you'll get there, okay? But for those of you that are catching on, know that this situation is calling for you to pull yourself up higher and to look at this from a bird's eye view. There is deep emotional healing taking place and growth, okay? The outcome for a lot of you could be marriage, commitment, uh, engagement, okay? Holy Spirit, tell me about this Hierophant as the outcome for Gemini. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. So the Hierophant, the High Priestess, moves slow. They are making their way back towards you, but they want to do this the right way. Very traditional, okay? They're wanting to come back towards you and walk towards you after a period of heartbreak. They've gone on a self-discovery um, journey. Now they're seeing how far they've come and they're wanting to, they're wanting to plant these seeds with you. But it does call for patience. This situation calls for patience and allowing it to unfold naturally. Because I'm seeing there's still a period of healing for both of you here. Okay? And Spirit is giving you both a time apart so that you can remove the toxicity within yourself. Anything that needs to be healed or addressed on your own so that you can move into the energy of abundance uh, with one another. All right, Gemini, thank you so much. If any of this resonates with you, please check out the link to my Etsy uh, shop below in the description box for a personal reading. And I look forward to hearing from you guys soon.